Please join me as we welcome a new shliach who will be moving out to Seoul and South Korea. Let us welcome Rabbi Usher and his wife Litzman as they depart to South Korea. If you will notice in the roll call, there are flowers that are in each one of the countries. Those happen to be the flowers from that particular country or state. Let us welcome and travel around to the Shluchim in the continent of Africa. Let us welcome the Shliach, the Shluchim, from which we branch out to 11 different countries in Central Africa, the Shluchim to the Congo. Let us welcome the Shluchim to Morocco. There is a beautiful delegation here today from a city, from a country, which the Rebbe was the one that gave the encouragement that the Jewish people should remain there. Let us welcome the Shluchim from South Africa. And let us welcome him from afar. The Asia should give him that he should have Arifas Yom and Misham and Tevis and continue to do his legendary work in Tunisia. <laughs> we travel on to the Middle East. Let us welcome the Shliach to Cyprus. Let us welcome a new shliach, Rabbi and Mrs. Kaimilo Azima, as they de depart for the Republic of Northern Cyprus. Let us welcome the shliach to Greece. Let us welcome the 400 shluchim who are here, and from a country which is really all of ours, the country which God promised that his eyes are upon the land from the beginning of the year till the end of the year. Let us welcome the Shluchim and pray that there is tranquility and peace. And let us welcome the Shluchim to Eretz HaKedem, Eretz Litzman, they had a baby girl yesterday, and let us welcome the Shluchim to Turkey. <laughs> Traveling on to the continent of Australia. It is my privilege to recognize and to give a brook in the name of everyone to someone who was really a pioneer in Shlitas. It was 50 years ago, when it was not that fashionable, he took his family with a number of children at that time. I remember his son, Shalber, was a friend of mine, a childhood friend, and they embarked on a Shlitas to Australia. Harab Rabbi Yitzhak David, Ben Menoverojo Groner, has been the shliach in Australia who has built the educational institutions in Australia. May Hashem Yisbarak grant him Arikas Yom and Mishan and Tevis, Arifor Shleim and Arifor Kreva, and let us wish him that he should continue to have success in everything that he does. 
Let us welcome the Schlotten to Australia! The Schliach to New Zealand! The former Soviet Union! Let's welcome the Schlotten to Armenia! The Schlotten to Azerbaijan! The Schlotten to Belarus! Let us welcome the Schlotten to Georgia! Let us welcome the Schlotten to Kazakhstan! Let us welcome the Shlokan to Kyrgyzstan! Let us welcome the Shlokan to Moldova! And let us all welcome together the Shlokan to Russia! There is one country to which we owe a major debt of gratitude. That is the country where the Rebbe was born, in Nikolaev, in the Ukraine. When he was a young boy, he moved to then what was called Yedin Kineslav, where his father, the saintly Goy and Sadek and Kubel, of Lady Yitzchak, became the Rebbe. The Rebbe grew up in Yekin Tinislav, which is today called the Nebuchadnezzar. When Rav Shmuel Kamenevsky went down on Shlichus to the Nebuchadnezzar, <laughs> the Rebbe told him that the Nebuchadnezzar should become Anir Habira, a capital city. We see the bracha that there is in that city, and that bracha is only, I would say, because of the great spiritual giants that live there, the Rebbe's father and the Rebbe. This city has Baruch Hashem prospered, and it is today has a beautiful infrastructure of educational institutions, social welfare institutions, everything that a community needs, beautiful shuls and schools that would be the envy of any Jewish community in the world. Tonight, sharing their prosperity, which look them around the world, is here with us an individual who I met a number of years ago by the opening of the beautiful shul in the Nebuchadnezzar. They're sitting with us here, a Jew today, Dr. Hirsch Bagaluba, an individual.